Today I'm making a video I'm not so used to making. I'd like to make a biblical comparison to the story of Frodo, Sam, Gollum, and Sauron. Then transitioning into the main part of my video, I'll review the last hour of The Return of the King and share why it is one of my favorite movie experiences ever. The story of David goes like this. A fair-skinned, fair-eyed, small man defeats an evil giant with a slingshot and the righteousness of God behind him. Along David's journey, he is persecuted further by King Saul, but he finds the protection of his friend and brother Jonathan, both of whom are bound to each other by an oath of loyalty. I made a promise, Mr. Frodo. A promise. Don't you leave him, Samwise Gamgee. And I don't mean to. I don't mean to. In The Lord of the Rings, we have a small, pure-of-heart hobbit named not David, but Frodo, that ascends Mount Doom with his loyal best friend Sam. Their goal is not to defeat Goliath, but Sauron. In Mount Doom, he faces his gargantuan and terrifying opponent to see he is unable to overcome the challenge. Only in a seemingly insignificant vessel of a slingshot, in this case, Gollum, does Frodo triumph over Sauron, the only thing smaller than Frodo was able to beat the insurmountable Sauron. The Last Hour makes one of the all-time great film experiences for me because of the setup and payoffs on a grand scale. The setup comes primarily from the Two Towers and the first two hours of Return of the King, but to a lesser extent from the Fellowship of the Ring. Through the Two Towers we get a complex, layered mixture of pity, support, resentment, and fear of Gollum. All these mixed feelings and paranoia creep throughout our brains, culminating at Mount Doom. We have a perverse desire to see Gollum reunite with his precious, no matter the cost to our heroes. We get it, and we have a fantastic scene to match. Last hour of Return of the King is grounded, gritty, action-packed, tense, scary, and filled with longed-for payoffs. The final battle with Sauron is both a literal battle and a moral one. Aragorn and Gondor make an epic final stand for Frodo. Frodo gives in to the temptation of the ring, refusing to destroy it. Here's where the genius subtext of the scene comes in. Gollum comes into Mount Doom, stealing the ring from Frodo by biting his ring finger off. This isn't strange, or maybe not so strange when you think about it, that the one thing our heroes truly lose in this battle is the ring finger of Frodo, the place where Sauron's evil resided for so long. Frodo tackles Gollum into the lava and destroys the ring. However, there is subtext to this. This is Gollum's twisted redemption arc. Indirectly, Gollum saves the world here. The setup makes this so much more special. 
Mercy stayed Bilbo's hand when he spared Gollum. Mercy offered Frodo's protection from the anger of Sam. Gollum allowed the ring to be destroyed by taking it from Frodo's temptation. Mercy saved Gollum. Gollum took the ring, and Gollum saved the world. Mercy saved the world. Smeagol saved the world. The climax of The Return of the King is beautifully acted, directed, and executed, all while being filled with payoffs and subtext. Peter Jackson relaxes the heavy CGI of the Battle of Minas Tirith to the gorgeous practical effects of the finale, and we truly didn't deserve such mastery. The falling action of the film is a glorious reuniting and final dissolution of the Fellowship of the Ring filled with smiles, laughs, hugs, that give way to the tears of a truly bittersweet and poignant conclusion that reflects on the power of friendship, brotherhood, and loyalty. Bible, Jonathan's story ends, but here Sam's goes on, as Frodo chooses to leave for Elf Heaven with his uncle and Gandalf. In truth, Jonathan's story never ended. His story went on in the heart of David, as he famously lamented, My brother Jonathan, you were so pleasant to me. Your love was more wondrous to me than the love of women. I hope you liked my little video about one of my favorite movies and one of my favorite film experiences. Watch it again when you get a chance. Stick around for a new video soon because I'm with you to the end of the line.